Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hello, welcome back to Morning Mindset Podcast. I am your host, Paul Markle. I hope that you enjoyed the Morning Mindset book study. That's right. For the last 30 episodes of Morning Mindset, we've done a chapter-by-chapter book study. If you missed out on that because this is the first one you're listening to, you can go back. As a matter of fact, I checked, uh, and depending on the player that you use, Some of the podcast players will only store 50 episodes, and some will store way more than that. So uh, you may be able to go back quite a long time and uh, re-listen to episodes. But thank you to everybody who who played along, who listened along to the book study. I truly appreciate it. And I would appreciate it if you guys would give us a review. If you bought the book, if you enjoyed the book, uh, go to uh, Amazon.com if that's where you bought it. And leave a review. If you didn't, then you can go to the store, our store, uh, where you bought it. Go to morningmindsetpodcast.com. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about today's episode. Let's talk about the topic for today. And this was actually one that was suggested to us by one of you folks out there in the world who listen. And it was about how do I work with, how do I deal with, a business or work situation where maybe you have uh, – the, the specific situation was a group or a team that's working on a project and one or two or someone in the group or some ones in the group are not quite getting it or they're not pulling their weight or their suggestions are not helpful or what have you. How do you correct that? How do you get everybody back on the same sheet of music without getting everybody else all (laughs) butthurt? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Marine Corps leadership trait of tact. T-A-C-T, tact. Now, when I was uh, in the Marine Corps many, many moons ago, uh, I'm sure it was a staff sergeant, maybe a gunnery sergeant, that explained to we young Marines that tact was the ability to tell someone to go to hell and have them looking forward to the trip. Okay. (laughs) So tact, how do we do that? Well, one way to make sure it's, it's, it's difficult because, and I think a lot of us have this problem. I know that I will admit that I have this issue. I have this problem because I know what I want I know when I want it. I know what, how I want things to be done. And often, you know, we believe like, hey, I understand what needs to be done and I know what needs to be done. And why is it that other people don't understand that as well? Why can't they get it through their thick skulls? Why don't they understand? I'm tired of wasting my time and so forth. Take a deep breath. <sighs> One way to help you to employ tact in a situation like this would be to, uh, let's say you have a person in a team or a group and that person just seems to not be getting it. They're, they're not, they're not part of the solution. They're currently part of the problem and you want to change that around. You want to have them to, you know, become part of the, of the solution, not the problem. And, and you don't want to embarrass them in front of the group because if you embarrass them in front of the group, they're going to dig in their heels and they're going to be like, fornicate you. I don't need this crap, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. They're going to get butt hurt and they're not going to be a productive uh, employee. And if you need them to be part of the team, then they need to be productive, not just dragging the, the team down. Number one, take a deep breath and ask that person a question like a serious, genuine question. Ask them to explain to the group their thoughts on the subject or their solution or their explanation. Or what you can do is you can go around the group and let's say you have a task or a mission 
Now, what you do is in order to gain clarification, you say, well, I want to make sure that everybody here understands the exact purpose, the, the true reason why we are working on this project, what the mission is, what we're trying to accomplish, and have them explain in their own words, ask them to explain in their own words what the mission or the task of the team or the group is. Now, maybe they may explain it exactly as you expected it to be explained. And they say, okay, yep, that's it exactly. That's exactly what we're looking at. Or they may say, they may give you an answer that you weren't expecting. Then you get to say, hmm, apparently the communication broke down somehow. But you have to work really hard not to be condescending. You have to be serious and you have to be genuine about it. And that's one that's, that's very hard for me because I speak sarcasm quite fluently. As a matter of fact, my wife would tell you that sarcasm is my second language. So it's difficult for me. This is something that I have to work on. But when, we, when it comes to working with groups, and, and I know uh, many of you out there, you're like, man, you don't know. I was on this team, this team at work, and we got this one guy or this one woman on our team, and they are clueless. They shouldn't even be there, but we have to include them. Well, you want to include them and have them do something productive, or do you just want them to be an anchor that drags the rest of the team down? And how do you do that? Because if you say, if, if you embarrass them in front of the group, if you scold them in front of the group, it, the, the, uh, an old leadership trait or, uh, is uh, we praise in public and we correct in private. I learned that uh, when I was a, a corporal, when I became a corporal in the Marine Corps. When I had a, actually, I wasn't even a corporal yet. I was a lance corporal. And I was given a team. And I don't know if it was a sergeant or a staff sergeant. So an NCO leader reminded myself and others that we praise in public and we correct in private. Unless, and of course in the Marine Corps there's a caveat to that, unless everyone in the group needs to learn that lesson unless you can use that person's mistake as a lesson so that everyone else learns it. But when it comes to performance, individual performance, like for instance, when we would do performance evaluations, think about it. When you do a performance evaluation for a team member or an employee or what have you, do you do it in front of the rest of the group or you do you do it in private? And you say, oh, well, we always do performance of, you know, reviews in private. Why is that? Because you're probably going to be making or taking corrective action, right? Praise people in public and correct them in private. And when it comes to tact, when it comes to telling someone to go to hell and having them looking forward to the trip, that is the goal of tact. That is the goal of tact. And sometimes it may just be a situation where you need to put it on that person. Ask them a question. Ask them to explain. Ask them to give you, in their own words, the mission statement. And if you do that, they may actually realize on their own that they are mistaken, that they don't understand what's supposed to be done. Or at very least, they'll just be quiet from that point forward. <laughs> and if they're just quiet from that point forward, well, chalk it up as a win. How's that sound? <laughs> uh, I hope that helps. I hope that's something that you were looking for. Uh, I don't know if it was or not, but... Uh, we try here. We do. I'm looking forward to a brand new week uh, or, well, we're already in the middle of the week, but uh, a new section, a new segment of Morning Mindset. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for sharing this with other people who may enjoy it. I am your host, Paul Markle. I'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.